And a special welcome to our First Communion class, your parents, relatives, and friends. Please remain seated while the First Communion class enters the church. Our opening song will be Alleluia, Alleluia, number 21, in the select.
guests to remain seated until you kneel down to the Holy Holy. Please remain seated all the way through. I think everyone was there before we get a better chance to uh, see the children. We do rejoice with the children on this day as we pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And our come because we are able to participate in Jesus' Easter victory. For that victory, we pause and pray. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. God our Father, may we look forward with hope to our resurrection. For you have made us all your sons and daughters and restored the joy of our youth. We ask this through our Lord, Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever. And uh,
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. At the sea of Tiberias, Jesus showed himself to the disciples once again. This is how the appearance took place. Assemble the words Simon Peter, Thomas, Nathaniel, Zebedee's son, and two other disciples. I am going out to fish. They went off to get into their boat. All through the night they caught nothing. Just after daybreak, Jesus was standing on the shore, though none of the disciples knew it was Jesus. Jesus called out to them. Children, have you caught anything to eat? Not a Cast your net off to the starboard side, and you will find something. So they made a cast and took so many fish they could not haul the net in. Then the disciples Jesus loved cried out to Peter, It is the Lord. On hearing it was the Lord, Simon Peter drew on some clothes and jumped into the water. Meanwhile, the other disciples came in the boat, towing in a nest full of fish. Actually, they were not far from land, no more than a hundred yards. When they landed, they saw a charcoal fire there with a fish laid on it and some bread. Jesus told them, Bring some of the fish you just caught. Simon Peter went aboard and called ashore the net loaded with sizable fish, 153 of them. In spite of the great numbers, the net was not torn. Jesus invited them. Come and eat your meal. Not one of the disciples produced to inquire, Who are you? For they knew it was the Lord. Jesus came over to me, took the bread, and gave it to them, and did the same with the fish. This marked the third time that Jesus appeared to the disciples after being raised from the dead. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Work is important. Work is important. 
the next thing you might notice in that gospel is uh, how was their work going that night? Did they catch anything when they were out there on that lake all night? No, they, they didn't catch anything. When did they catch something? When did they catch something? When Jesus told them where they should throw that net. So we're being told something else in the gospel. We've got to do our work, but our work is going to go the way it should go when we do it the way Jesus tells us we're supposed to do our work. When we do our work that way, things will go the way they're supposed to go. Sometimes it might look like that right away, but that's what Jesus tells us. You do the work that you're supposed to do, you do it my way, and it will, it will go okay. Um, when they got the work done, they, they had that, that net uh, full of fish. I, I thought maybe we should get the fish out of the water before, uh, before we ended up. I thought I'd ask the servers to go up there and, and uh, grab that net and uh, pull it up out of the water, pull it back up on land for us so that we don't have those poor fish tied up in that net there on the, on the ground. Yeah, it looks like, like the net's a little bit too heavy for them to move. I think they're going to need some help. Any of you know those, those servers? Maybe somebody got some brothers up there. If you've got a brother up there, would you go up there and help him pull that net up on the land? Okay? If you got a brother, you go help the brothers need that help, I think. See if you can help them get that fish up there. Okay, does everybody pull together? I bet you can get it up there on top there, okay? You can get up, hey, yes, everybody's in there pushing. There you go. Good job. Yep, I think we've got it. Okay, I think the server can handle it now that it's on land. You can go back to your place. Thank you for helping us there. The server will take care of those fish and get them the, uh, the rest of the way. Good job. You know, that's something else that the gospel tells us. It tells us that Jesus says we've got to work together to do Jesus' work. We can't get Jesus' work done if we're going to do it all by ourselves. I think we're going to do it all by ourselves. It's going to take a lot of people working together. Big people, little people, people like your parents, people like your grandparents, aunts and uncles, your friends, your neighbors, your brothers and sisters, uh, anybody you can name, we can use their help to get Jesus' work done. It's very important for us to remember, and that's something that that gospel shows us there. So they all hold that net together to get it where it needed to go. Is that net hard to pull? And then that was hard for those guys to get out of the water there, huh? I mean, you didn't need it, 12 feet up there to move it? Uh, you, don't, you don't think so. Yeah. Okay, so how about somebody that was up there? Was it heavy? Was it hard to pull? Who was up there? Okay, was it a hard net to pull? Not really very hard, was it? It was kind of easy with all those guys. Uh, yeah, we, we figured you might be able to handle that net there. Maybe one of those guys to handle that net was real lucky. They're kind of easy. Otherwise, uh, uh, if you, any of you guys could have handled it. But uh, that, uh, what do we get that gives us strength to do our work? What do mom and dad use to get the strength to do all the work they have to do for them? What do you use to get the strength to go through a whole day of school? What do you use to get the strength? Huh? You, get, you need some food, don't you? You need food to, to get your strength to be able to do God's work. That's right. And so, we need special food to do God's work. And what is the special food that God gives us so that we can do His work? Huh? The body and blood of Jesus, the bread and the wine and the flesh, we can come to Jesus' body and blood for us. Communion. That's why we're here this morning. For your first communion. We're really happy to have you here because mom and dad and all those other people that are here that love you know you need a lot of strength to do God's work. It's not going to be as easy as pulling a, uh, a net full of paper fish uh, and getting in someplace. There's going to be times when it's a lot tougher than that. We need all the help we can get to have that strength to do God's work. So that's why we have you coming this morning to say, hey, you're old enough now, you can help us. We really need your help. It's like everybody putting a hand on that net going to get the shore together. We need your help and we want you to have the strength that will help you get that net to shore with us. So we're very happy to have you here this morning. We're thrilled to have you here.
seeing your communion again and again, and each time you come, you'll be getting that food that Jesus gives us, so that you'll have the strength to do the work, our everyday times of work, for you guys are going to be school for a lot of years, but still, for your moms and dads, the kind of work they do, to get the strength of that, for that work that they must do, we want to have Jesus there to help them. We get Jesus in the sacrament of the Holy Spirit. So grateful that you're coming. I'm so proud of you and so happy for you. So thanks for coming and keep coming. Keep getting stronger and stronger so that you can use all the help you can get. And God bless you all. Thanks for the help getting that get out of the uh, water. We're going to uh, ask God to hear our prayers now. And uh, I'll ask you to uh, pull up your hands if you have the things that you want to pray for, and we'll all pray together for those things. Okay? For your aunt who's in the hospital, we pray to the Lord. For your grandpa, that is for all the grandmas and grandpas that either couldn't be here because they're so far away or because they've already gone to be with Jesus. We pray to the Lord. So that everyone has a nice day today. We pray to the Lord. Your grandma is nursing home for everybody that can't get out on a pretty day like today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The first communion continues to go good. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Okay, so your cousin up in Chicago has a nice first communion. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our world. Country, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now, for all the things that anybody here has brought for us to pray for, for you especially, because you're our special remembrance this morning, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Jesus, thank you for inviting us to come and be with you. Give us your strength always so that we may do your work through you, Christ our Lord. Amen. Now we'll have the uh, gifts and we'll come up around the altar.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, receive the gifts from your church. May the great joy you give us come to perfection in heaven. Grant us through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all powerful, ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. We praise you with greater joy than ever in this Easter season when Christ became our Paschal sacrifice. Christ is still our priest, the one who pleads for us. Christ is the Lamb who was slain that we could live forever. Now we join the angels and saints as they praise you and sing. <laughs> Love as we should. 
Remember those who have died. Bring them home to you, to be with you forever. Gather us all together into your kingdom, that we shall be happy forever with the Virgin Mary and with all the saints. There, with all the friends of Jesus the Lord, we will sing a song of joy. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only the favor of the night shall be. 